That's the uh, that's the sequel. <laughs> Get into this oh, next one. Back to Diomo de Sirio. Fight. So right here. Tiger Mask trying to apply that pressure to Chloe from the beginning. Chloe, Chloe fighting back with the lows. Tiger Mask tries to punish. It's a pretty good niche coming from both of them. Ooh, but Chloe with the lows. Oh, Ooh, there you sweet. go. Yeah, looking for his moment. Finally gets it. A power bomb. Oh man, got baited into the get up low. Oh man, could have finished that off, but unfortunately drops the end of that and Tiger Mask finishing it up. Round two. Fight. It's called Leopard Mask. Oh, leopard Ooh. Mask, I guess. <laughs> so are we gonna get the wall? Yes, she does. Tiger Mask gets right out of there. Oh no, is that gonna be into the wall? Because he so moved out of the way. Mm. No. Good tech, though. Yeah, it gets finished up with the low. Round three. It's going on round three. Tied 1-1 one, one in game one. The sweep. The conversion into power bomb. Let's see, he makes Ooh. the spring kick whip. Tried to get the launch. Did not get a whip punch off of the spring kick. We'll get this spit big swing. Oh, and the wall. Yeah, finish it off. Well done. Throw them bows. Fight. Mm. Oh, nice gets the wall. Yeah, great adjustment with the back three there. So much damage on Tiger Mask. Tiger Mask entering right back. Nice launch from Chloe. Oh, almost gets to the wall. Could have finished it off if she did. Nice blocks on the low, but mm. no punish. Was probably expecting him to finish that up, but good recognition from Blackman Rising. Now we're tied 2 2. Power bomb to start the round. Down three. Irish Ooh, whip. Irish whip. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Spring kick again. Tiger Master throwing that all night. It's been working for him so far. Oh, Ooh, that was sick. Oh, Irish whip not, not being a full combo. Yeah, both on Rage now. Last moment. Small standing Ooh. four and then goes for the low afterwards. Good stuff, Tiger Mask taking that one three to two. I mean, uh, that one went straight to the wire, both of them. It's, mm -hmm. it's hard to really say what Chloe's, I mean, what would Chloe have to do to take the next one? I mean, there was a lot of things like that where he was getting big launches and converting them into uh, converting them to good carry. But there was things like towards the end there where he wasn't able to adjust the combo in the right way in order to get the nice wall spot, which is what he really, really needs. Like the game that Chloe plays is to be able to carry to the wall and then be able to like put them face down or do like three, four so you can get Oki or something like that. When you put that together, you get a really, really scary character. But the problem is that he never really got that good of a setup, right? Mm -hmm. Every time he got the wall, it was kind of a weird splat, and it, they got up at a pretty much the same time. So when you get that, you really lose a lot of the, the momentum that you have as Chloe. So that would be good, as well as just waiting for your moment. I mean, like something like that towards the end where he was just had a big whiff. You should, uh, you should save the shenanigans stuff so for the closeout rounds or get little plus frames that you can use so that you can continue your pressure that way but tiger mass finally uh getting a good read on when he wanted to throw that in there backed up and got a punish for it as we go into game two let's see if black moon rising will have what it takes to kind of answer back it's going back to default king yeah maybe uh maybe tiger mass was watching fish sauce play a second ago so maybe you had the uh, had the ability to scout out the matchup a little bit, but this happened in the matchup with Fish Sauce. Took the first one, lost three straight. So definitely not over for Black Moon. Yep. Yeah. Let's see how let's see how she's gonna do in this one. To go into uh, the estate. Mm. Yeah. Let's see how this is. Still wall, a little bit of a little bit of a big stage. Um, but needs to, needs to break some of the walls before we get to there. Tail. Still so mesmerizing. It's going right into a Tiger Mask. Once again, like I mentioned, up one. 
Gets the launch out the gate. Nice adjustment on the combo to get the wall break. Gets the screw late. Well done to him. Oh, almost gets the tackle. Another mm. break. No, a little bit too late. Nice break from the swing. Tiger Mask trying to get in there. Opens him up. Oh, oh counter hit 3 4. Still a lot of damage. Goes for the Oki. Trying to go for a flip. Ooh! Well done. Stays on the ground, gets a spring kick. That was sick. Good timing. Tries to come with the hook off the gate. Did not work out, but the Shining Wizard. Time Chloe to wake up. Nice. 4 4 1. Ooh. Oh! Big splat. Nice adjustment on the combo. And the dragon screwdriver to take the round. Dude, man, Tiger Mass has been so sick in this game to so really use the wall breaks properly. You see, even the adjustments on his combos to make sure that he can screw after the wall break, making sure that he gets the most out of all of the, uh, out of the moment. Well, finally, his spring kick not working for him. Ooh, and he misses the shining wizard. Spock and Rising have, have the beats. All right, stuffs him out of the pick up the change. Black and Rising taking. The first, or his first round. That's a perfect one. Nice parry. A lot of damage gets the wall. Are we actually going to go outside? Oh, man, the real estate is just not going to sell this house. Vertical suplex. <laughs> oh, Ooh, no. Tiger suplex? Oh, oh, what a break. Counter hit. Oh, no, he couldn't break. I thought we were actually going to go outside, but Tiger Mask finishes it off before that. Takes his second game. Wow, yep. that was pretty close. Yeah, that was... Uh, that I mean, was... dominant at first with Tiger Mask. That, I mean, he had to really make a lot of really good adjustments to his game, and that was a lot of patience on the ti on ti side of Tiger Mask. You saw there towards the end, like, he was really just waiting for his moment, and then once he got it, he just capitalized on the moment every time. And uh, even then, the adjustments that he made on his combos, you saw there, like, even doing that combo on the first break to get the tiger hook afterwards. That was some stuff like that is actually really, really sick. And uh, it takes someone who practices a lot to understand how to adjust their combos like that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it was, uh, like, we saw in the first game, Chloe going a lot for a lot of lows. Tiger mm -hmm. Mask, as you said, adjusting. He's blocking the lows. He's not letting her dance all around his feet. Stomping on his toes. Yeah. He's like, no. And then, he's, like you said, just the hook coming from the side just mm, punishes. Yeah. And obviously, but the other thing, too, is that what you started to see is, which will make this game very interesting, is you started to see Black Moon Rising kind of adjust to that. You saw him break the, the um, you saw him break the, the Shining Wizard. Mm -hmm. You saw him break, you saw him block the Spring Kick. You know, so he, he's he's learning as well. So that's what's going to make this one dope. Yeah. Especially when you block, uh, block King Spring Kick, it puts him facing away. Puts him, uh, you get his back, so you can really get a very, very hefty punish on him if you uh, if you do block that Spring Kick, which is naturally one of the best Spring Kicks in the game, but has a, a bigger punish uh, if you if you do block it. So that's something that it could have definitely turned the tide on one of the one of the rounds. You see right here loading in. We're gonna go to Hammerhead. Hammerhead is the newest stage that we've had in Tekken Seven that we got with the introduction of Noctis is a very big stage, sort of like Sluk in terms of like how how wide it is, mm. but is uh, very narrow as well. So you can really think about how you adjust yourself and how you engage the opponent to make sure that you either get your own wall splat or try to avoid getting splatted yourself. Are you ready? Are you ready? But there's a lot of like sidewalling in this game because you naturally start mm. at an angle from the yeah. from the thing. But good adjustment on the combo. Ugh. Down three. Nice block and then gets him out a little Ooh. bit. Immediately back in there for two one. Is that gonna be it? So close. Nice block in the low. Tiger Mask gets another low and is gonna connect. Well, Chloe, as we go going around two, Tiger Mask up 2 0. Black and Rising needs to adjust, needs to start making a comeback now. Yeah. Blackman really just looking for his moment. Ooh. Ooh, all right. That back kick. This is going to hurt. Is that going to be enough, though? So close. Oh, no. So close to the wall, too. That would have been enough. Oh, but gets the KO anyway. 
tied 1-1. Yeah, man, and this is really the, the thing about playing against Chloe. At any given moment, she can get that big launch. She'll take over half your life. There's Tiger Mask doing a lot of defense on Chloe right now. Ooh, good break from Chloe. Yeah, that was critical. He's going to get thrown on the wall. It gets the sidestep for counter hit. Mm. Nice. Goodness. I like going for the two follow up there. That way he grounds in front of them. Knew he wasn't going to get the wall. And that's going to be two rounds for Black Moon. Round four. Up 2 1 in game three. And here comes Shiny Wizard off the gate to the stomp. Ooh, Ooh, hop kick. First time we've seen that in a while. Gets the wall too. Yeah, adjustment on the wall to get the back one, but gets the counter hit on the get up. Powerbomb. You can see we're already almost on the other side of the wall. Oh my, another hop kick. Recognizing that Tiger Mask might be going for too many lows. See, so both have rage. Oh, oh did he touch one? Yes! Oh, he did! Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. For you. Oh, what a, what a power driver is going to final round. Oh man, set point here for Tiger Mask. That was so clutch. Black Moon pressing the button. Very unfortunate. Power bomb. Grabbed her out of the air. Down three. Good punish from Tiger Mask. Closes the distance. I know Black Moon Rising. Oh, Hopney out of the air. <laughs> Doesn't get a combo. And oh, let's put a Jaguar bomb. step in there for fun. Tiger Mask is going to take it over Black Moon Rising. Three to zero. Well fought there towards the end.